So let's go ahead and log into our account. And we get forwarded to the main page. And I want to display some information about the currently logged in account. And I know the user is logged in now because I just forced them to log in before they could view this page. And so I'm going to add a div box to the top of the page. And I'm going to put the account information here along with a link to log out. So let's go ahead and in my index page, I'm going to add a div. Actually, let me put this all in a, in a PHP function. So PHP show user and then inside of my poker code, so you put this above the content stuff. Show user. And I'm going to keep this simple to start, so I'm just going to use a div box with ID user pane. And I'm just going to show the session session username key, so just the username for now. And then end that div and put in a new one. And then for the style of the user pane in Poker CSS, I'm just going to go ahead and text align right for now. So all that'll do is show the username. And there it is. And then everything got moved down a little bit because of the height of this thing. But I really want it to be centered relative to the whole screen. So let me fix the JavaScript a little bit. So in poker.js, And I'm going to have this on both pages, so it's okay to do this here. So I'm going to get user pane as well. Document get element by ID user pane. And then, so repeat that line. And I want offset minus spacer. So the full height of the user pane is at the top. So I don't want to divide that part by 2. So offset minus user pane height. OK, let's reload. And that looks about right. So let's go ahead and put a login link up here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start an anchor tag. So simplify this a little bit. And then here, I'm going to add anchor href equal. And then I'm going to have a constant for this. So log out page. So there's my anchor tag, and then the word log out, and close off the anchor tag, and close off the square brackets. We have an extra double quote here. 
and then a new one. So let's see how that works. Oh, I need to define logout page. So that's going to go in page constants. And that's going to be logout.php. There we go. Okay, so this will look better after I style it, but it seems to work correctly. Ooh, three aces. Ah, oh, but I have to finish this page. So actually, that's a good thing to do now. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with the draw page. So I'm going to have to do all of this stuff. So, and then I need this. Like so. And that should be it. So, reload. Almost there. So, um, call to undefined function hand type because this one also needs to require hand type. There we go. So now both pages work. If I click on logout, I get an error. So let's go ahead and create that logout page. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to my week seven folder and get destroy session. So here's the process for cleaning out the session. And I don't need that OB start. I need this session info. And then I need this stuff down here. So I'm just going to copy all this stuff. And then in utilities, let's go ahead and create a function for that. And I need this line and then this stuff. So this is getting the session info clearing out the session super global, clearing the user's cookie, and getting rid of the session file in XAMPP temp. And then in log out, I'm going to call session dis actually I need to include that. So require once includes utilities. And I also need to start the session. And then I'm going to destroy the session. And then I'm going to redirect back to the home page. Actually, back to the login page, I think is going to be good. And I need page constants for that. And I think that's it. So let's go ahead and go back here, reload. And then I'm going to click the login link. And I'm taken back to the 
login page. And if I hit back and reload, it forwards me again here because of require login. So there's no way I can access one of these pages directly now without being logged in. But if I'm logged in, it works fine.